Hi, this is Nancy. I am really excited to tell you that Leader Guide Pro Plus version 10 is finally available. And I just wanted to quickly show you one, there's just so much, so much great stuff about this new version of Leader Guide Pro. But one of the really fabulous things I think you're going to love is when you start a new leader guide or a new participant guide, look at what happens here. Look at all your choices. So we're going to take care of all of the document setup for you in any variety of ways. This space would be for, you know, the name of your uh, your class that, you know, your your training program. This will go on the cover if you're creating a facilitator guide or a participant guide. Notice you can also start a content part. And so this this is about, if you checked this, this would be, you know, a participant book or a facilitator guide content part is a module and a lesson or just a lesson. So you can start a facilitator guide, you can start a participant guide, or you can start a content part. And if you're starting a content part, you would decide, is it going to be a participant book content part or a facilitator book? Um, content part because they have slightly different setup. So what what that means, this content part business, that means that if you don't want to worry about the cover page and the getting started section and all that stuff and you've just got um, a topic that you just want to zero in on and work on, you just want to work on the instructional content related to a particular uh, topic that is part of a larger training program, you could start with a content part, which means you could just jump right in and build your module or lesson. Um, and then uh, when you're, you know, once you are ready or someone there is ready, you would create your facilitator book or your participant guide. And then you would use librarian to insert this content part into your full book and get everything in order that way. So I'm not going to start a, part, a content part right now because I want to go on for a minute and just show you this other stuff. In addition to these choices, so facilitator book, participant book, content part, you can also choose, is your page going to be your lesson page now, the, where it's going to really contain your instructional content? Is it going to be set up as a two-column page or a three-column page? For those of you who've been using Leader Guide Pro for a long time, hey, we're finally there three column page um, and then um, our this is the rows this is about the width if you choose three column you're gonna have a, a wide page um, but notice over here you can have a wide page with a portrait orientation which is what we're used to you know most of the time or with a landscape orientation and you can also have a landscape a4 orientation um, so just a lot of choices. I'm really loving this facilitator book um, two column wide portrait which is just giving us more room but the three column wide portrait is also really nice. You know and it also notice participant book. This is new. You can have a participant book that's three column wide portrait or landscape, whatever you prefer. So some of you like uh, Jim, if you watch this, here you go. Here's your here's your portrait or landscape participant book, three column wide, or you could do two column wide portrait. So lots of choices here. Now some choices, depending on what you're picking, some things just won't be available, but they'll, you know, they'll gray out if, if you can't do it. But believe me, you've got some fabulous choices here. Um, and then down here, collection name. So default, this is going to give you the way that Leader Guide Pro will set things up, you know, just out of the box. Um, but once you get used to what the default is, you may then say, well, I want to do some customizing. And we give you a whole bunch of help with uh, with customizing over here on the ribbon. If you click on this down arrow, you'll pull up a list of um, stuff that you can do. And there's there's lots of nice instruction built in these days to Leader Guide Pro. Um, so you might say custom, and then 
select from list and when you click on this a list is going to be building because it, when you create a custom collection you're going to give it a name and then you're going to click here and you're going to say I want my sales training collection or my executive education collection or my technical skills collection or you know whatever you need um, so you'll pick and then style this is really about uh, the participant books this is really we could have just let the participant books be collections over here but we didn't want to confuse you so if you're making a participant book you're going to choose um, you you still can have your custom collection but you you're also going to choose you know the classic modern or elegant and then one-sided and two-sided that's just about if you physically print the leader guide or participant guide that you're building if, if you have it physically printed on paper for distribution are you going to be using both sides of the paper even if you personally don't have a printer near your desk that will do that for you if it's ultimately going to be sent out somewhere and, and professionally printed are they going to use both sides of the paper if the answer to that question is yes then you want to print two-sided and then copyright yes or no revision date yes or no that refers to these things these are things that will appear in the footer of the odd numbered pages in your in your document if you like and you can adjust them here and have them say you know anything that you want um, if you say no then nothing will be there if you say yes then it will show up and notice I just sort of wiped out what was there so I could you know go ahead now and type in my company name again and anything else that I wanted this is a line that's going to be in the footer and the same with revision date yes or no if you say no it, it grays out if you say yes it'll come back and our default is to put in the current day's date and to put it in as a hard fixed date not as a field so you know as you're working on um, something once it's good to go then it's got a hard date in the bottom and then at some point when you do make revisions you'd open the footer and you'd manually you know change the date and then this is new um, VC slide thumbnail images VC meaning virtual classroom so if you're going to be bringing uh, slides in PowerPoint slides and you want them to be thumbnails real small because it's a virtual classroom situation and the trainer is going to be you know looking at the slides differently you could just click yes to this and then when you go ahead and bring in slides it'll automatically default to the small to the really small size otherwise you just say no and then you'll have other choices about slides when you bring them in and down here instructions built right in just scroll down through here we're explaining all the stuff that I was just talking about so lots of nice help here and so once you have this the way you want it you click OK and you see a document start to build and then you're prompted to save which you always have to do um, because we're starting a new word document so you need to save it we default to the leader guide pro library location which is in the documents area of your computer but you can save anywhere just make sure you save once you save just give it a second and then you're fully in word and you've got a word document up but now this is also new right away we're asking if you'd like to bring in um, images to your document if you're ready if you if you have some slides or a bunch of screenshots or something that you want to use as a jumping off point for this for this guidebook you can start right off and bring them right in right away so I'll say yes just to show you what happened if I say no then I'm just in the document and then I would bring up my leader guide pro ribbon and carry on but if I say yes now I'm being asked what kind of images do I want to bring in also new I could bring in a bunch of pictures right away if I wanted to um, or I could bring in slides and so also I'm being told that in this case my document is set up for I picked a three column setup so I can place my images in column one column two or column three and with if I'm bringing in PowerPoint I can also bring in my notes if I want to and I have choices about where I put those if I wanted my image in column three I could put my notes in column two or my notes beneath um, so lots and lots of choices here it's just it, and it's so so nice all you have to do is play around with this a little bit and you'll you'll just fall in love with this I mean this is 
you know, I mean, Google's got a car that's going to drive us around. Leader Guide Pro is going to make your books for you. Um, so once you click OK, this takes you in, you know, and you pick your slide file. I'm not going to go any further in this video right now. I just kind of wanted to show you some of this incredible stuff. I'll, I'll just cancel this part of it for now. Um, but, you know, and the, so there's just, oh, there's so much stuff here. Look at all this. This is all new. Bringing in pictures resizing. Um, there's just so much great stuff here. This is all about the customizing, how to do things. There's a lot of nice written help already built into this. Um, you're going to be able to go here and go to our uh, website um, to, to, in, to written instructions into these videos. Um, and when anything comes up and you have a question or, or you're confused you, from our website, just click on contact us or you can use help at leaderguidepro.com or whatever you want, one way or another. Ask us, tell us what you need. We're happy to help you. Also, when you go to support um, on our website, you'll notice I've um, put our knowledge base up again so you can go to our knowledge base. You can post questions, ask questions here. Um, I do have this set up right now so that you have to log in and, and we do, I have a, your, your comment isn't going to hit right away, it's going to go into an approval queue, but it'll, it'll get out there and um, so this will be a way for you to, you know, share with each other and talk with each other um, and share ideas and of course we'll be monitoring this and helping as well. So lots of great new stuff. Just go to greatcirclelearning.com, click on products, click uh, Leader Guide Pro Plus for the PC or for the Mac, version 10 now for the PC and the Mac, so pick what you need. Um, it, you know, if you go to the PC page, we've got some, you know, links here for downloading um, and then also for, you know, for buying. We've got really good prices, $80 a month or $7.99 for a year. Um, or you could do perpetual licenses if you prefer, but the s subscriptions are really, I think, the better way to go. So check it out. Let us know what you think. Looking forward to working with you. Thanks for watching.